If you own a business, you're gonna need more than excess liability insurance to protect you, and I'm about to tell you why. I'm Ted Sutton, and this is Direct Answers from Corporate Direct. Now, before we get started, please make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any general questions about anything. We here at Corporate Direct set up a lot of businesses for people, and when we do, we still recommend that you get an insurance policy. After all, when you get sued, Insurance is the first line of defense in that lawsuit. However, it isn't everything. Now, there are many different types of insurance out there. The first type of insurance is called primary insurance, and there are many different types of primary insurance that you can have. One type of primary insurance is general liability insurance, and this can be where you have a bodily injury to someone, property damage, or in the event that your business is sued. Another type of primary insurance is commercial auto insurance, and this insures you in the event that you get into a car accident. And another type of primary insurance is workers' compensation insurance. And as it sounds, this insures you in the event that one of your employees gets hurt on the job. Certainly, this type of insurance can vary depending on what type of business you have, but a lot of people like having additional protection just to make sure that they're better protected when a lawsuit comes. The second type of insurance is called commercial umbrella insurance. And this insurance supplements your primary insurance. It provides excess liability insurance and additional coverage in case something bad happens and the primary insurance doesn't cover it. This type of commercial umbrella insurance can cover up to a million dollars or even more depending on your type of policy. And like the name sounds, it acts as an umbrella over the existing policies that you already have. Many of you might be thinking that this may be enough to protect you in a lawsuit, but the reality is it isn't. And I'm gonna walk you through a few reasons why insurance isn't everything. Number one, insurance companies find ways to not cover claims. When you read an insurance policy, you're gonna see in the fine print that there's exclusions to coverage. After all, insurance companies have an economic incentive to not cover every claim. Number two, there are a lot of bad faith insurance claims out there. Bad faith insurance claims arise when one of the policyholders either gets underpaid by the insurance company, the insurance company delays their payout, or the insurance company denies coverage to the policyholder altogether. Unfortunately, these types of bad faith insurance claims are pretty common, and there are attorneys out there who specialize in these types of claims. Number three, there are a lot of different claims that can be brought against you and your business, and your insurance policy may not cover them. In this day and age, you can be sued for a lot of different things. These things can range from car accidents, wrongful termination, sexual harassment, theft, and embezzlement, just to name a few. But there's plenty more out there that can be brought against you. Because of this, your insurance policy may not cover these types of claims. Number four, you still need an LLC or other entity type to protect your personal assets. As I've mentioned before, insurance is the first line of defense in the event your business is sued. However, if you don't have a properly formed entity and the insurance company doesn't cover a certain claim, then you're on the hook individually. This is a situation that you certainly do not wanna be in. However, if you have a properly formed LLC and you follow the corporate formalities, then you will not be individually liable when that lawsuit's filed against your business. And number five, this may make some of you pretty happy. Lawyers are much less likely to go after an LLC's assets as opposed to insurance monies. When a lawsuit's filed against your business, the attorney on the other side of the lawsuit is likely on a contingency fee. This means that the attorney only gets paid if their client wins the lawsuit. Usually these fees are about 35%. So if their client wins a $100,000 judgment, the attorney gets paid $35,000. It's a lot easier for them to go after the insurance monies. If you have an LLC in a state with good asset protection, like the charging order, if the insurance monies dry up, 
that attorney has to get a charging order on your LLC and wait for distributions to be made. Attorneys are much less likely to go after an LLC's assets as opposed to insurance monies. This is especially true if you have an LLC in a state with strong asset protection, where the charging order is the exclusive remedy. So if the attorney on the other side goes after the insurance monies and there's not enough to collect, hypothetically, they could get a charging order on your LLC. But the issue there is that they're gonna have to wait for distributions to be made before the client can collect. Because of this, these attorneys are much more likely to go after other cases where there's a different pot of insurance money waiting for them. If you have an LLC that's formed in a state with strong asset protection, it's much less likely that the attorney's gonna collect from your business. However, if you don't have an LLC formed or another business entity, when those insurance monies dry up, you're on the hook individually, and we don't want you to be in that situation. As I've mentioned, insurance is the first line of defense. You can have primary insurance, and you could also have other forms of excess liability insurance, like commercial umbrella insurance. However, it's not everything, and if you don't have a properly formed entity, you can be in deep trouble. I'll see you next time. Hold on, I'm not done yet. If you're looking to start a business, click the link in the description below and schedule a free 15-minute consultation with us. Also, make sure to check out the Corporate Direct website and subscribe to our newsletter, where we'll send you a lot of good information on corporate law, amongst other things. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any general questions about anything. I'll see you next time.